Hi, welcome to this Corpomise video on Product of Primes. And in this video, we're going to look at how to use the Product of Primes to find square numbers and cube numbers. So part A, let's have a look at writing 75 as a Product of Primes. So let's just write a number as a Product of Primes. So 75 would be 3 times 25. 3 times 25 is equal to 75. 3 is prime, so let's circle it. But 25 is not, it's a multiple of 5. So that would be 5 times 5. So 75 is equal to 3 times 5 times 5. Or in an index form, which could be quite useful in these questions, 3 times 5 squared. Okay, so part B of a typical question like this would be, hence write down the lowest integer by which 75 needs to be multiplied by to make a square number. So in other words, what number, what's the lowest number we need to multiply 75 by to get a square number? So multiplying it by 2 would be 150, that's not a square number, and you could carry on, and a trial and error approach wouldn't necessarily be the best, it's actually not too bad in this question, but uh, you'll see in a minute, um, but you know, a trial and error approach can be quite time consuming, particularly if the answer is quite a large number, so having a technique such as using the product of primes can be really useful. So let's have a look at how, how to find that lowest integer by which 75 needs to be multiplied by to get a square number. So before we do that, I'm just going to look at some square numbers. And we've got four square numbers here. We've got 9, which is equal to 3 times 3, written as a product of primes. We've got 16, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 as a product of primes, or 2 to the power of 4. We've got 100, which is equal to 2 times 2 times 5 times 5, or 2 squared times 5 squared. And we've got 576 which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, which is 2 to the power of 6 times 3 squared. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to share out these prime numbers equally to find the two numbers that would multiply together to give that square number. So if we have 3 times 3, well, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. That's straightforward. So 16, well, that's 2 to the power of 4, or 4 twos. And sharing them out equally would be 2 times 2, which is 4, and 2 times 2, which is 4. And 4 times 4 is 16. If we had 100, that's 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. So sharing them out equally would be 2 times 5 and 1, and 2 times 5 and another. And 10 times 10 is 100. And if we had 576, well, that's 6 2s and 2 3s. So that means if we share them out equally, then that would be 3 2s here times a 3, and 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, which would be 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, times 3 is 24, and 24 times 24 is 576. Now something really interesting to note here is all the square numbers, whenever we write the product of primes in index form, they all have an even power. You've got 3 squared, 2 to the power of 4, 2 squared times 5 squared, 2 to the power of 6 times 3 squared. So if your prime number is a square number, it will have even powers for the prime numbers whenever they're written in index form. So it's going to be really useful. So if we have a look here, we had 75, which was equal to 3, which is 3 to the power of 1, times 5 squared. Now the 5 squared has already has an even power, which is great. So what we would want to do is we would want to multiply 75 by 3 to make this 3 squared, because 3 squared times 5 squared, if we share them out equally, would be 3 times 5 times 3 times 5. And 3 times 5 is 15, so 15 times 15 is 225. So if we multiplied 75 by 3, we would get an even power. So the answer would be 3. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So the next question says, Part A, write 2,600 as a product of primes. Okay, so this might take a wee moment. So we've got 2,600, and we're going to write this as a product of primes. So 10 times uh, 260 is equal to 2,600. 10 is 2 times 5, and they're both primes, so let's circle them both. And 260, well, that's going to be equal to 10 times 26. 10 is equal to 2 times 5, and again, they're both prime. And 26 is equal to 2 times 13 and circle them both because they're both prime. So 2,600 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. Yep, there's three of them. And so we'll need to do something about that. We've got then 5 times 5. Oh, that's great. That's even. And we've got 13, so times by 13. So that means in index form, 2,600 as a product of primes would be 2 to the power of 3 times 5 squared times 13, which is 13 to the power of 1. So Next, part B says, hence write down the lowest integer by which 2,600 needs to be multiplied by to make a square number. Well, we need to make the power for the 2's even, so we're going to need to multiply it by another 2. 
and the power of the 13s isn't even either it's one at the minute we need to make it 13 squared so we're going to need to multiply by 13 as well so we're going to need to multiply 2600 by 2 times 13 which is 26 so if we multiplied 2600 by 26 you would get a square number and it would be the lowest integer that you can multiply 2600 by to get a square number Okay, we're now going to look at what happens whenever it's cube numbers. So let's start off by looking at some cube numbers. We've got two cube numbers here. We've got 8 and 729. Now, 8 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. And remember, a cube number is what you get whenever you multiply a number by itself and by itself again. So if we share them out equally between three numbers, you'd get a 2, a 2, and a 2, and 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. So that's great. If we had uh, 729, well, that's equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, or 6 3s. Now, we want to share them out equally, so we're going to have 3 times 3 in one of them, 3 times 3 in another, and 3 times 3 in another. And 3 times 3 is 9, so 9 times 9 times 9 is equal to 729. So what's really useful to know about cube numbers is, whenever you write them as a product of primes, the powers of the prime numbers will all be multiples of 3 because obviously you're going to be sharing them out between three numbers. So that means, for instance, whenever we were asked here to write 80 as a product of primes, well, 80 would be equal to 2 times 40, 2's prime, circle it. 40, that's 2 times 20, circle the 2. 20 is equal to 2 times 10, circle the 2. And 10 is equal to 2 times 5, and circle them both. So 80 as a product of primes would be equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 5. So part B says, hence write down the lowest integer by which 80 needs to be multiplied by to make a cube number. So remember, for cube numbers, the powers need to be multiples of 3. So 3, 6, 9, so on. So we've got 2 to the power of 4. Well, we want to make that 2 to the power of 6. So we're going to have to multiply it by a 2 and another 2. And the 5 is 5 to the power of 1. Well, that's going to need to be multiplied by 5 times 5 to get 5 to the power of 3. So that means that if we want to find the lowest integer by which 80 needs to be multiplied by to make a cube number, it's going to be 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. And that would give us 2 to the power of 6 times 5 cubed. And our answer would be 2 times 2 is 4 times 5 is equal to 20 times 5 is equal to 100. So if you multiply 80 by 100, you'll get 8,000, which is a cube number. 20 cubed. Okay, and our last question. Our last question says write 5,500 as a product of primes. So 5,500, so that's 5 times 1,100. Circle the 5. Then 1,100 divided by 11 would be 11 times 100. 11 is prime, circle it. 100 is equal to 2 times 50. Circle the 2. 50, 2 times 25. Circle the 2. And 25 is 5 times 5. So as a product of primes, 5,500 is equal to 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. That's great. That's a multiple of 3 times 11. So 5,500 is 2 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of 3 times 11, which is 11 to the power of 1. And we've been asked to find the lowest integer, the lowest whole number by which 5,500 needs to be multiplied by to make a cube number. So we want that to be 2 to the power of 3, so we need a 2. The 5's are already 5 to the power of 3, which is great. And 11, that's 11 to the power of 1, so we're going to need to multiply by 11 and another 11, or 11 squared, and then that will tell us our number. So 2 times 11 is equal to 22, and 22 times 11 is equal to 242. So if we multiply 5,500 by 242, we would get that's equal to we would get that's equal to 1,331,000, which is, of course, a cube number. And that's it. So it's really useful to know that a square number, whenever you write it as a product of primes, will have even powers for all of the prime numbers, and a cube number will have a multiples of threes for the powers. And that can be really useful in these questions.